of CDs that are sold at Lori's. And someone comes with the idea of making love market. And who was that? Hi, I'm James Sadwan. This is me, the creator of Love Market. Right now I've got a mohawk. And we are talking all about Love Market. Well, not all. Most of Love Market. Yeah, maybe we'll do all. So let's straighten this up. Most of the songs I just do, but in some of the songs, one of my one of my guys, John San Juan, he is my dad. What are you doing? I'm saying hello. And he records some of the love market with me. And right now he's playing guitar. He likes guitar a lot. He's a lot of people say he is a guitar flarist. He's amazing at guitar. A lot of people say that. He knows how to play a lot of songs on guitar. And he's done some love market on guitar. Sometimes he does it with another instrument. It's called, called electric sitar. It looks pretty magma-ish. It's even, it's even got some extra strings. even got some extra strings. These extra strings. Those extra strings sound pretty chime. These extra strings are called chime strings. Well, they may not be called chime strings, but I sure call them that. And the chime strings, they are not, they cannot be changed. You cannot change the chime strings, though you can change these electric sitar strings. It just sounds really challenging to do that. It looks pretty hard. Or maybe you can change these chime strings. Maybe if you do, maybe if you unscrew this off and then put the new strings on and then screw it back on. Aha! Now I know how to, to do some stuff. Most of these songs I do do not record with drums, but I'd always have to record with cup drums. And only one album I have cup drums. Let me stop for just one second. So I needed you to stop for one second, and now we don't have to do s s cup drumming anymore. Now we can just get the drum set. So, so we've got uh, an electric so, drum set. So cup drumming is over. No, cup drumming is not over, but we can still keep doing cup drumming. But now we've got a drum set. We might just that we can make some videos of the drum set too. Okay. And a love. And Love Market has a full album with and listen, drumming on it. Do, do a video of me, okay? No. And even you can, it comes with headphones. And 
and it makes a sound too. So Love Market has a lot of albums sold. I've only got three albums sold to, to I've only got three albums that are being sold at the store. Well, one of the albums just got bought, so I'm having two albums sold at the store. I'm about to sell another album and yeah. And Love Market has a lot of songs and stuff. Love Market does not make any albums, but they make CDs. Yeah. Me and my dad, my dad can't pay for the money to make a Love Market album. It's just so expensive. I just can't know how expensive it is. My dad had a band called Hush Drops. He, his band has albums. He made two albums, Tomorrow and Today. Just kidding. Tomorrow and Volume 1. Volume 1 is the first album. You can tell by its name. So, yeah. And I even have a Love Market Facebook page. I've got a couple of Love Market videos on YouTube, but not on my channel. I've only got Love Market YouTube videos on my dad's channel and the Rockwells. Seriously. So yeah, that's about it, of. That's about it of Love Market. It might be the world's dumbest video because it's all it's about is just talking about Love Market. Ooh, it might be a little fun. Ooh, and look at my mohawk. Oh, yeah. I can look pretty creepy making that face and pretty funny. So yeah. And everybody who loves Love Market, including me, extreme close off. Yep, so that's about it, and let the games of Love Market begin, and also, Love Market sounds a bit like Beatles. Love Market all started in 2016, right now it's 2017, and Love Market's still going. Love Market has been a pretty short band. It's like the world's newest band. Not a lot of people listen to Love Market. But soon a ton of people will be listening to Love Market if I keep selling my CDs. And also, I've got the best song on Love Market. It goes like this. Gross! So that's Love Market. <laughs>